So now I'd like to talk to you about some of the exercises I use for the half diminished going to the dominant flat 9 to a minor chord or a minor 251. In later lessons I'll explain the difference between a 251 and a minor 251 or a 251 going to a minor 1 chord. First let me play you the C minor major scale which I use quite a lot. I like to think of this as a C minor triad with a G minor triad stacked on top of it like so. The same thing for the two scales. A C minor scale, five notes. And a G major scale stacked on top of that, five notes. A really cool exercise that I do in all keys is a melodic minor exercise. It goes like this. This is a C minor. And now B minor. And B flat minor. And A minor. And of course, these are just exercises, and you don't normally play like that, but knowing the scale so well will, will allow you to improvise on the um, melodic minor scale. Uh, for instance, This is a really cool scale because you have, in the case of um, A minor, it's an A minor triad with, uh, with an E major triad stacked on top of it. So you're getting that G sharp sound in there. Here are some exercises from my book that I use for going uh, from the two half diminished to the dominant flat nine to the one minor chord.
now, here's a practice track I made for you to use. It's to my song Natanam, which is Manhattan spelled backwards. And it's to the chord changes of Erosion. There are spots where I don't play. Feel free to improvise through them and have fun. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 